<laughs> oh my god, Krigga. Get it. It's me. I was just supposed to say, yeah, dad. Accurate. Literally me. Camera Before my makeup. I'm a vlogger. the doorbell. Oh, stay over there. They're not plugged in yet, I don't think. So why'd you make me ring the doorbell? Stop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, does that scare you? It reminds me of it. Oh? The it scares you? No, it's I don't get scared, I get disgusted. I that exactly. Oh. Seeing a baby being hung between the eyes is disgusting. Oh? So has Wonderland offended you? <laughs> yeah, because I should be there. <laughs> oh? Being hung by the nose. Alrighty, it's that time of year again. Canada's Wonderland is about to launch Halloween Haunt this Friday night it starts and I'm super excited. Unfortunately, um, I will not be able to attend this weekend as Craig and I will be at Cedar Point. Um, we'll be doing their Halloween weekends and then the next weekend we'll be doing Halloween Haunt at Canada's Wonderland. But we're here to go over everything new at Halloween Haunt this year and kind of go over the construction that's been going on um, and uh, what we're most excited about. So I have to say, the new front gate isn't scary, it's not a graveyard, blah, 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 but it is absolutely stunning. We entered the park and it caught my eye right away. So I have to give credit where credit is due. This front gate is absolutely amazing. And even though it's not a scary front gate like they normally have for Halloween Haunt, I'm absolutely blown away by how beautiful this is and I'm okay with it not being scary because it's that beautiful. So if you're at Front Gate or you're going to Canada's Wonderland, go definitely check out the Front Gate area and get your pictures taken with there. It's absolutely stunning. This footage isn't doing it justice. We couldn't get anywhere too close because so many people were taking pictures. But um, here is Code Red. So the video your phone um, is it. one of their oldest mazes. I was transformed into, I think, like surviving like a zombie apocalypse or military style. Uh, it looks like discovered? it's still pretty far. Oh yeah, it's all new. We're along in construction and no, everything's more changed to go. Now. We have a little bit of the inside, obviously. You'll find out on Friday. I better... But it's definitely a really cool maze. This is where Spirit Manor and Cornstalkers is. My two personal favorite mazes at Canada's Wonderland. Spirit Manor is a really well done maze down there in Action Zone, and Cornstalkers is obviously in the forest, like it always is. That one is definitely amazing. Can't wait to check out Cedar Point's Cornstalkers 2.0, by the way. Definitely super excited about that. Um, and this is the new zombie graveyard um, Halloween area coming to, uh, I'm trying to figure out what it, exactly it was called, Frontier's Revenge. So this is Frontier's Revenge. This is going to be a scare zone over by Yukon Striker. Um, it's supposed to be themed to like, I guess, the miners or the village has been plagued by a zombie apocalypse in the Gold Rush era. Um, and now they uh, take home over here near Yukon Striker. So that's going to be super cool to see. And I love that Wonderland tied that into the themed area of Frontier Canada. So super excited about that. It's definitely going to look awesome. The grave looks pretty awesome for how simplistic it is. Um, but can't wait to see what uh, finishing touches they add to the area. This is the new thing. So it took me a while to figure out what this was. Um, so it's their new Toxic Party Zone. So this is the Toxic Party Zone, what we're under right now. Um, it's a little thin. It's a little small for a party or dance party to take place in. But that's fine. I guess it's just... Um, Maybe the entrance to it. The red structure over there is a stage. And that's for something else. It's very similar. That's for the radioactive LED dance show. So I guess they're combining the two scare zones. They're not really scare zones. The two entertainment zones together. So that'll be super cool to see. Um, Craig obviously breaking the rules right there and laughing about it. <laughs> but um, So this is the radioactive, I guess, dance show. And then you have the radioactive dance party just off to the little bit of it. 
This is supposed to be new this year, a little bit of a change of something they did last year. So super excited to see um, what this turns out to be. I kind of like that the Wonderland's going down a different route with Halloween Haunt, incorporating different entertainment ideas along with the haunted houses and the scare zones. Um, so super excited about that. This is another one of their shows. So this is Devil's um, Circus, I believe. Yes, Devil's Circus. Um, and this is a really cool show. If you haven't seen it, you got to check it out. They have fire effects, you know, um, really cool uh, routines. I definitely check it out every year. This is one of my favorite scare zones right here. I believe this is actually Ghostly Pines, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's either... Yeah, I believe this is Ghostly Pines. Um, super cool. I really like the costumes that they use in this area. They're one of the most advanced costumes at Halloween Haunt. It almost looks like um, a professional, professional makeup artist did them. Um, and the masks even are super cool. Um, so definitely one of my favorite ones. It usually used to be down by the Funnel Cake stand, Fighter Funnel Cakes. Um, so it looks like they moved it up here this year. I didn't go to Halloween Haunt last year, so it might have been moved here last year. But from what I understand... Um, it's located in this area this year. Um, again, definitely one of my favorites. Super cool. Very well themed. Looks like a graveyard. Looks like you're in a graveyard. And I know that they add fog effects and everything to this area. So it's just super cool. Can't wait to check it out next weekend. For those of you going this weekend, definitely super jealous. But altogether, there is no new haunted houses coming to Canada's Wonderland this year. So just to go over a few facts. No new haunted houses coming to Canada's Wonderland. Just all the old favorites returning. You have two new entertainments, the Halloween Horror Flicks, which is going to be in the uh, medieval kind of castle theater. And then you have the radioactive LED dance show mixed with the toxic party zone. Those are new entertainment areas. And then you have the Frontiers Revenge as a new scare zone. And that's all that's new for Halloween Haunt this year. Again, with them launching Winterfest, we could have expected nothing new or nothing major would be coming to Halloween Haunt this year, as most of the funding and everything is going to um, Winterfest. But nonetheless, super excited. I love Halloween Haunt every year that I go, and uh, I'm super excited to see uh, what maybe even 2020 Halloween Haunt holds. I definitely think we're going to see some new houses. We know that Cedar Fair is moving all their Halloween attractions indoors so they can keep them as permanent structures so they're not always having to rush build them. Um, and to finish it off, we have that great pumpkin that covers the world globe. So obviously we couldn't get an update on all the haunted houses at Canada's Wonderland, um, but you'll just have to go this weekend and check it out. If you're planning to go to Halloween Haunt, you're going to want to go this weekend. So this weekend is the weekend to go. Go Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Sunday's the best day to go, or Friday. Um, Saturday's going to be slightly packed, but Friday or Sunday, go. It's definitely worth it. You're going to love it. Um, you get both the rides and the haunted houses and the scare zones. It's just an overall well-priced, super amazing attraction to do in the Toronto area. Um, and we uh, do it every year other than last year. I don't even remember what got in the way of last year. But um, definitely check this one out. Uh, if you want to check out others, I also suggest Fear Farm and Screamers. Those are my two personal favorites outside of Canada's Wonderland. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.